Hi, I'm Ian McRae. I'm the entomologist uh, at the University of Minnesota's Northwest Research and Outreach Center. Uh, I do a lot of work on potatoes, and this was just to talk about a, a couple of projects we have going in our lab this year on potato insects. We're working with Colorado potato beetle. You know, uh, the growers up here are well aware we're starting to see a little bit more tolerance for the neonicotinoid insecticides you know, once we put down at, at uh, plant to control Colorado potato beetle. We're seeing a little less efficacy in those products. So there's been a lot more reliance on foliar applications after the potatoes are up. We're working on uh, seeing what levels of resistance are in the area, so I've been testing populations. We're also working with those foliar insecticides and seeing what their relative efficacy is and what the best use of some of them are. We're also trying out a synergist called piperonal butoxide, or PBO, and that's a product that can sometimes raise the efficacy of an insecticide in an insect that's already showing a little bit of resistance to that product. So that could be quite beneficial. We're still working on those. We've got the plots out. We'll be bringing you that data later on in the, uh, in the wintertime during the extension season. We're continuing on with our work also uh, trapping aphids. Now this year has been a, a, a relatively low aphid year, but we trap aphids looking for specifically for those aphids that can vector potato virus Y and the other potato viruses into seed potatoes. So we've got about 20 traps set up this year. We rely on uh, grower cooperators who very kindly uh, uh, change out those, they host those, those uh, traps on their land, they swap out our, uh, our catch jars every week, they send them to us, and we do the identification of those aphids in our lab. That material is available on a blog spot. Uh, that blog spot address is aphidalert.blogspot.com. Uh, we also send out that information via email, and of course there's always the Twitter feed, which is uh, MN Spudbug. So, that's always worthwhile looking at. Um, this year we're having a very low season for vectors, so um, we should have not as much risk of transfer, but of course there's still the risk of inoculum in the field uh, that's been planted in. So uh, that's been continuing on. A lot of people are coming up close to vine kill in the next few weeks, so we'll be wrapping that project up pretty shortly. Mm -hmm.